Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. So this video is going to be more of a sit down, kind of casual, chatty video all about me and my new journey with Patricia Wentworth. So a little while ago I finished all of Agatha Christie's works and I started a new journey with Agatha Christie which was rereading and I've said this before, I'm much more of a rereader than a reader. I love rereading and even cosy crime where I know who the murderer is or the criminal is etc I still love it you know because then you can work out all the clues leading up to it etc but as much as I love it I just fancied another golden age detective writer I wanted to read someone new I wanted to find someone other than Agatha Christie and I was just googling one night as you do um and I was looking at Golden Age Detective Writers and I came up with a bit of a list of people that I wanted to read and one of them was Patricia Wentworth so I decided to get my hands on the first one which is Grey Maths which is from 1928 and thought there is potential here and I've basically gone on from there. So the whole point of me reading Patricia Wentworth is to not replace Agatha Christie but just to find a detective that I love as much and can get enjoyment out of and guess who the murderer is again. I just love cosy crime, it's something that I love reading and it's an easy read for me and I find that I generally try and read it in, in a couple of sittings and I just love it and sometimes when you read, for me I read a lot of non-fiction that's quite heavy and you read something light like this, it's it's real enjoyment and I, I love it and who, who doesn't love a good whodunit? So I thought I'd talk you through my journey of how I kind of got there and where I am now and where I want to be in the future. So as I said I did a bit of a Google, came up with this list, now there's some people on that list that I haven't tried yet, there's people that I've attempted and just haven't got on with so you know you do have this kind of big four sort of thing so Christy, Allingham, Allingham is someone who I own a few books of but I haven't got round to as of yet, um, Marsh, Marsh is someone Unfortunately, I don't like her writing style, so I've I've stopped I've stopped there with Marsha's works, um, and then of course Sayers. Now Dorothy R. Sayers wrote Peter Whimsey novels uh, as her detective, Lord Peter Whimsey. Who, to be honest, I don't really like him. He gets on my nerves. Um, I'm not taking on the writing style either. However, I am going to jump ahead with these ones and get to Harriet. Harriet is it Harriet Vane? I'm not quite sure, but the ones where she's in it because I'm told they, they really pick up and they're so much better. So I'm going to jump ahead and try and get my hands on some of those. And there are still loads of authors that I haven't got to yet, but will do in the future. And one of these was Patricia Wentworth and I thought, do you know what, I will give her a go. And I read The Grey Mass, thought the writing style here is is really my type of writing style. You know, it's not too heavy really enjoy her writing and I love Miss Silver, I fell for Miss Silver and I thought there is potential there. And so far I have read seven of her novels, however there are quite a lot. Um, she wrote Grey Mask in 1928 and they go all the way through up to her death which was in 1961. So what I've done for my journey with me and Patricia Wentworth, I'm not sure if this is a bit too OTT, too sad or not, um, but I've got this um, notebook, so my parents bought me this notebook one year for Christmas, I always ask for notebooks because I go through them like like no tomorrow, and in that notebook I wrote this, ta-da, it says Patricia Wentworth books, and then I write down the name of the book, the year in which it was published, and then if I own it I put a little O in the box and then if I tick it that means I've read it and then I put the star of rating that I gave it. I'm not sure if that's a bit too OTT but I've done that for all of these and then it's on the back as well. So I own, I think I own nine although I've recently just bought some and I've read seven so not too bad and I've read these early ones here. Now some of these books have different names to them. So for instance, um, Miss Silver Deals with Death is also known as Miss Silver Intervenes. In the Balance is also known as Danger Point, etc. But that's just quite a common thing, you know, titles change over time. So that is what I'm currently doing at the moment. I do hope one day to have read them all, but some of them are a little bit tricky to get hold of. 
and oh, don't you hate it when they, when they do this? So publishers have changed the covers of Patricia Wentworth books. So I started off with the collection and I thought, oh, I love the covers of these. They are fantastic, but they have changed them recently. And the new covers are also beautiful, but I'd rather just have one set. So, ugh. So I am collecting the rest of these, hopefully, um, and then dash the new ones in because I can't find some of the old ones. That's just not happening. So I thought I'd show you the ones in my collection that I currently own. So starting off the first one is Grey Mask. I bought this second hand. It was quite difficult to get a hold of, but it's actually quite easy to get a hold of now. This wasn't that great. And I wouldn't actually recommend it if you want to start reading Patricia Wentworth because each Patricia Wentworth have a little introduction to Miss Silver anyway. I'd only say read this if you're like me and you literally want to read all of them. Then I had the next one, which is The Case Is Closed. This one is much better. I gave it three stars. I liked it. It's still not great, but it's much better. Then I have Lonesome Road. This is really good. I really enjoyed this one. And let's be honest, a beautiful cover. Then I have my five star, which is the Chinese shawl. As I said, five star, brilliant. Didn't have a review on that. I'll leave that for you up there. Um, loved this fantastic. Then I've also read The Clock Strikes 12, Miss Silver Intervenes, which is quite a, a chunky one, The Key, and then the last two that I currently have is Miss Silver Comes to Stay and her last one, The Girl in the Cellar. These two came as part of a bundle with another one, I can't remember which one it was, but they were like three for like six pounds or something ridiculous from the book people. The book people is a great place to uh, look for books by the way so go on there. Um, but because they are later ones I haven't read them yet. I'm saving them up so that I read some others. But I have recently bought myself, I'll tell you if you're interested, um, She Came Back slash known as Traveller's Returns. The one that I've got is called Traveller's Returns. Um, I bought Pilgrim's Rest, I've bought Latter End, and I've bought Eternity Ring, which are kind of the next ones that I need. And then the other two that I'm kind of don't have in the chronological order, I think I can get in the new editions, but I can't get in the old editions, but I'll keep a lookout. But yeah, so that's where I'm currently at with Patricia Wentworth. I'm really enjoying her books. I would love to know in the comment section um, if you are interested in Patricia Wentworth books. If so, please tell me which one is your favourite. Is your favourite one that I haven't actually got to yet because I'm really excited. So I think that's all I've got to say about my journey. That is my journey so far. I'm only seven down but I'm getting there, I'm going there. I'm really enjoying it. It's absolutely fantastic and hopefully there are some more five star books of Patricia Wentworth. So that's all I've got to say for today. I hope you enjoyed this chatty video. If you'd like an update on how I'm getting on with her in the future, let me know and I can always do that for you. So that's it for this video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.